Well, many of us are anticipating the Warner Brothers animation Legion of Superheroes, which is just a few weeks away. And earlier today, we got a look at the cover art, and it's amazing. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about that art, break it all down, and even dive into some of the goodies that are included in the Blu-ray. Well, we're all looking forward to this Warner Brothers animation, Legion of Superheroes. We just have a few more weeks, but today we've got some cover art and a deeper look at the DVD release case, which gives us a couple more clues. Now, before we dive into all that, though, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and ring our bell for all the updates. Remember, we want to be your place for DC and Marvel news, but make sure it's truthful, transparent, so we can be sure you're really in the know. Well, as many of you know, we're just really a few weeks away from the upcoming Legion of Superheroes animated movie. We've gotten a trailer for the feature and a pretty good breakdown of the plot synopsis, but earlier today, artist Alan Chu released the cover art for the Blu-ray, and I have to say, it's one of my favorite covers ever from DC. So, let's not beat around the bush and just dive in and check it out. Now, the art is pretty straightforward. It definitely features Supergirl front and center, but also makes it pretty clear the primary supporting characters for this movie are going to be Mon-El and Brainiac 5. Now, throughout the rest of the picture, you catch a couple of other Legionnaires, including Bouncing Boy, Dawnstar, Phantom Girl, and Triplicate Girl, and that makes it pretty clear there's going to be a lot of supporting team members in this movie. Now, the art itself really does look pretty good, and I have to say, especially in the new Tomorrowverse series, this is by far the best cover yet. Now we did get some other art, and not only did we see it in the bundle for the Blu-ray, but we also got a peek at the back of the Blu-ray. Now, the back of this Blu-ray just once again runs through the, the synopsis for the upcoming film, which is in itself an interesting read, making it pretty clear this film is going to focus on Supergirl and see her team up with the Legion along with Brainiac 5 to face off with the Dark Circle. But there were two other little things I took from this back cover. First and foremost, seeing her keep mon -El and Brainiac separated clearly indicates to me there's going to be a lot of friction between these two characters. This is something you would sort of expect, and this is indeed some confirmation of what Brainiac's overall status might be with the Legion. Now, we talked a little bit in a previous video about the special features associated with this movie, and they do give us a little breakdown of that on the back. But, at the bottom of those special features, I did notice there are two bonus cartoons from the DC Vault. Now, which two cartoons these are, we'll have to wait and see. I would not be surprised if they were Superman the Animated Series or the classic Legion of Superheroes Animated Series from the early 2000s. None of that's been confirmed, but I'll try to look out on the internet and see if we can figure out what that is. It also does confirm the film is PG-13 and will run 83 minutes, which I have to say is probably the only thing I find disappointing because I think 83 minutes is a bit short. Now, this movie has a huge cast, but we do know that Meg Donnelly is playing Supergirl, Harry Shum Jr. has taken up the role of Brainiac 5, and we will indeed see Darren Criss return as Superman, Matt Boomer as The Flash, and Jensen Eccles once again will put on the cowl as Batman. This group will be backed up by a huge cast featuring a ton of voice actors playing about a dozen characters, so we're not going to list them all off here. Let's just say this is one of the biggest voice casts I've ever seen for an animated movie. Now, we only have to wait till January 7th to watch this film, less than a month. I've actually provided an Amazon link down below. It totally helps the channel out if you buy it through here, but I want to encourage you wherever you watch the movie to make sure you grab it, support this project, because this is how we get more stuff from DC Animation. The Legion of Superheroes has a pretty special history with many fans, including myself, and I want to see them get a much bigger focus going down the road from DC Films.